morning guys today I want to talk about typography I want to show you guys the difference between a serif font and a sans serif font so we'll start off with T so I'm gonna make a sans serif T all right I'm gonna start off with the letter T like so And you'll notice that at the edge of the T, there are these serifs, okay? This base is known as a serif. So it's like the foot or the, or the wingtips of a T. This will typically be like Times Roman and fonts of that nature. So these are all sans serifs. Fonts. And then like and this would be considered serif. So I'm gonna do serif. So that's sans serif, serif. You notice there are no feet or base that you can see here. Now I'm just doing this roughly with just a pen just to give you guys clear indication. So and then I'm gonna do like a cursive font, right? So this is cursive. I'm I'm being a <laughs> I'm being a bit more elaborate and I'm I like to make up my own fonts like I like I like to design my own fonts but it's still the same uh, so this is more like cursive Typography and art is very important. It allows the viewer to understand whatever the designer is trying to convey, whether it's visually or verbally. So I just made this letter P up. I could have did it on the computer to show you guys, but I wanted to show you. I like to scribble, I like to do things hand-drawn. So, this is more like cursive, a cursive font. So, and then I'll do like a cursive O. Typo. Put the weight on the side. You know, and the space in between each of these is called the kerning. So in typography, we use kerning. I just, I'll, I'll just go over that a little bit more. So that's, that's what is called the spacing in between each letter. It's the kerning. That's how we refer to space in between letters, numbers.
It's not the space in between a sentence. It's just the space in between this letter and this letter and this letter, right? So how things are occurring. Typography, right? And so we have the serif and sans, sans serif. I showed you that. So I showed you the cursive. So I'm going to show you like the G. Just draw a circle. So I'm going to do a small G as opposed to a capital G. Make sure I put the base there so it's not confused with a six. Kind of have the foot. Okay. So type, and then I'll just put. I, I should have wrote it down here, but I'll just put. Um, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. I'm an artist. You can make it up. So I'll do the rest of this in cur cursive. How about this? Let's add some fun to it. Let's add some color. Everything is just black and white. Let's add a little bit of color. Make it a little bit more exciting. How about that? All right. Everything doesn't have to be black and white. Let's add a little bit of color. Give it a little bit of splash. You know, like so. So I'm writing in cursive. In today's world, this is really a lost art because everybody pretty much does everything by the computer. So you very seldom find people writing today more like texting. But I, I grew up having to learn this skill um, as a designer to actually be able to write and cursive and calligraphy it's a lost art but I still really enjoy it enjoy it it, it is the true essence of where <clears throat> things have come from so you never you, you never forget your base you never forget your root you know this is how I learned from the very beginning was cursive writing uh, the difference between serif and sans serif fonts really understanding the weight of the font 
how to control that. So, so like right now, there's there's so many different programs that you can use, like Illustrator and um, you know just so many different um, programs on the computer with Adobe that you can use to um, create these fonts. But again, I like to scribble. I I like to really draw things out. I'm just to show you as they would say, an old-fashioned skill, right? So like, I could take this actual drawing, bring it into a program like Illustrator, and begin to manipulate it or refine it however I, I want. But I, I show you this way because when you learn how to do things this way, you, can, you, you have a better sense of control over the fonts. You, you have a better understanding of, of of, of how to design them once you learn how to create them this way at least for me that's 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 how I was able to really um, master typography just understanding how to draw it how to write it out so I wanted to share that with you guys so there you have it and that is the difference between a I just showed you the difference between a serif and sans serif font so you guys can use that and understand so again let's go over it I'll write it out so you can understand so this is known as serif I'll write it out so you can understand for those that don't know this is called serif font. When you see these tips on it, that's a serif font, okay? And this is sans serif. Okay? So you guys will know the difference. And the spacing it's called kerning. The spacing in between each font. This is called kerning. Spacing in between. Okay, guys? So you can understand that. All the spacing in between this is called kerning. So that's a quick typography lesson for you guys that are um, interested in design. Okay? So feel free to try this at home um, anytime you feel like it and so you can get a better understanding and a better grasp of how to use typography in your next project okay guys until the next video thanks for watching peace